All right, guys, we are taking care of the evening chores here, just kind of wrapping things up. Uh, I'm gonna take care of these meat birds here and then I'm gonna head up into the woods and start pulling out T-posts for uh, our next kind of pig paddock area. So today we've been doing a lot of preparation work for that um, and getting prepared for a reconfiguration of how the animals are laid out on the farm. So getting the pigs up into the woods, I know they'll appreciate that just because right now they're kind of just really out in the open a little bit and, and the sun kind of gets to them. Pigs do get sunburns. Uh, so it'd be nice to get them up in the woods, get them some shade and be able to uh, give them something to do during the day because they'll be able to root around and they'll be able to uh, kind of do some clearing out of the woods up there for us. So we're happy to let them do it. All right. Here are the tea posts. Uh, this used to be the old dog kennel. Uh, but now that we got the dogs trained to the electric fence, um, we can actually take this down and use it as pig pastures. So we'll go ahead and step on this tea pot.
All right. I think that's a wrap, guys. We're calling it for the day. We don't want to be uh, mosquito munched. No. Nope. So we will catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, we appreciate everybody that's following along on the journey and watching and all of you that comment and share this video. So thank you so much. We couldn't do this without you guys. Bye. trying to figure out the grade of the ground. 
if I'm putting on these snaps too low or not. But we'll find out. Pretty easy. They have the short piece, this long piece, and this is goes on the inside. So I take the short piece and I put it on the other side. And I just get that over. into place eventually and <sighs> thanks for hanging out with me while I'm getting mosquito bites <laughs> oh. sometimes my hands hurt after a day's worth work in the woods So all the clips are on, so now I'm gonna start running the hot wire. It's not hot while I'm touching it, of course, because I don't wanna be shocked, but I'm gonna run the hot wire, and I'm gonna take it along the top one, and then come around and take it along the bottom one. So anyway, and I will disconnect the bottom from the top, and I'll connect it through alligator clip wire. That way, as the snow builds up during the winter, we can just unclip it moving forward. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now.
I'm gonna walk you through the chute for the pigs. So this will be our second time moving, and this is a long move. Oops. Coming up this way. So Edward's gathering some apples. Ooh, there's a hole. So watch out for that. There's one area where I think we're at risk, but I'll try and stand in the gap right here. So this is the area we're at risk. But if I open that gate, those lambs are gonna come out. So, no, I'll stand in the gap there. All right, so they come around there. And they're right here. We're going. Ah. I got scooter. there, buddy.
when I'm trying to keep in. He just wants to go back. No, no, no. 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 Fence is not hot yet. Go, go, go. Go. Chloe is giving Edward a run for his money. I don't even see them coming yet. So. But two is better than none. All right, we finally got Chloe into the chute. She has been quite the problem child, problem pig, getting in here. So we finally got her in. The other two pigs have gone up and down the chute many times. We've had many escaped pigs. <clears throat> so hopefully... Once they figure out, okay. they're all in the same I need place. You to take this. Okay. Because I have to go ahead. All right. Okay, Paisley. Unplug. Let's go, Chloe. They're almost there, girl. Pressure. Is it twisted like this? Did that last time? All right. Not yet. And okay. Can you test? Uh, test some stuff. The bottom one and the top one. I'm going to have you do one more. I hate to ask you this because I don't like it. you getting shocked, but I need this bottom one here tested. If this works, this is the end of the line, right? Okay. Maybe. 
Good morning, everyone. Uh, after our very excruciating, like two and a half to three hours of moving pigs yesterday, we we're coming out to check on them to make sure that everybody's still where they're supposed to be. So, and it looks like you guys decided to stay in. That's good. You, Chloe, Minty, Scooter. All right, everybody's in. That's a good thing. So. Good job, guys. That's a way to stay in there. Now I just have to fill up the feed barrel. That takes care of the pigs. I'm very happy that they're all there and they seem to be happy with their breakfast. And they even do the pinwheel up here. But uh, yeah, so glad that they have decided to stay in their paddock. Hopefully they explore a little bit and check out the whole paddock because they got a lot of underbrush bacon munch on so good job pigs you stayed in <laughs> 